Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a quick fast forward effect to add a burst of speed to your clips. So I've got this clip on the timeline, and this is generally going to work best with slow motion to burst of speed effects. So keep in mind, if you're shooting on your cameras, you want to use a higher frame rate. I have a whole video about shooting slow motion, which I'll link in the description below. But basically, you should have a setting on your camera to be at a higher frame rate so that you can take it into Premiere Pro and then right click on the clip, change the speed of it to be 50% and that'll give you a smooth slow motion clip. In this case, we have this drone shot which is slowly panning over this cruise ship. And that's what's going to look cool when we're creating these bursts of speed is if there's movement in the camera. So I don't care if you're panning around a car or following someone that's walking, there's some movement, or if there's movement on an object, so maybe a bunch of birds flying past the camera. So in order to do this, you want to right click on your clip, go to show clip keyframes, and choose time remapping speed. This is going to allow us to edit the speed by using keyframes. So go ahead and scroll up or zoom in on this track so we can see what's going on. And you should be able to click this little diamond here to add a keyframe to any point. If you're not able to click this, you can also click it up here in the effects control panel. So I'll add a keyframe right here, and then I'll move the playhead over till the camera has moved over a bit, and then I'll add another keyframe. And what you'll see now is I can take my mouse and I can move this little segment that we've created all the way up to two, three, or even 400% speed. So when I play that back, it's going to go from the normal smooth aerial shot, and then when it passes over that section, it's going to do a quick zoom, and it's going to look cool when there's movement on the camera. Now, since we did it in this way, you can also go to each of these playheads and split them, so that'll ramp the speed. So I can create interesting little effects where it's just a burst of speed and then it slows down, so I can play it and see what that looks like. And you can do this on several points throughout your clip, whether you're syncing it to background music or maybe even sound effects. So let's create one more just for example. I'll add a keyframe here, I'll move over however long I want to or wherever the camera movement I want to be is. I'll create another keyframe and I can take that section and just speed it up a lot. So three, four hundred percent speed. So when I play it over that part, it'll go from regular to a really fast zoom and then back to normal speed. Now this method is called time remapping. It's just one way that you can do it, but it's one of the most flexible and adjustable ways. And you can also go back and change speeds and split the playheads to ramp speeds. But another way I'll show you that you can do this is, let's say I went over here and I wanted to do the same effect. What I could do is grab my razor tool by pressing C on the keyboard and then chop off a certain section that I want to fast forward. So let's say I chop that and then press R on my keyboard, which will go to my time remapping stretch tool. And then I can just stretch the clip inward, which will speed it up to however short I want. And then just grab V and then move the clip back over to connect. So this is just another alternative way that you can do this by chopping the clip. I probably would mostly use the time remapping method. However, it's good to know both just in case there's certain situations where you'd want to use the timer mapping tool to fit in an exact amount of time. And it's all about having an interesting camera movement and making sure you got a nice smooth clip for this to end up looking nice. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it below and check out some of the other tutorials in the playlist on my channel. I have more on speed and timer mapping. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all new future videos from me on photo and video editing. And definitely follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that. If you have a question or you want to send me a link, at Justin Nodi Show. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.